Bobbler again. It's one thing to bobble Senator Hillary Clinton's head, but Senator Larry Craig's foot? It bobbles up and down the taps. Just when you thought you'd heard the end of bathroom stall jokes. Oh, a little tappy tappy on the tootsie. Oh, They're back, thanks to what one website called the greatest minor league giveaway of all time. He reminds me of that senator from, uh, what was it, Oregon? Idaho, actually. But the bathroom Senator Craig got arrested in was at the Minneapolis-St. Paul airport, and the St. Paul Saints decided it would be a great publicity stunt to have bobble foot day. What a giveaway. There were only enough for the first 2,500 fans. We did have a lineup that began at about 10 o'clock in the morning um, for a game that began at 7 o'clock. Things could have been worse. Last May, the Milwaukee Brewers had rectal exam day, or as one website put it, turn your head, order a beer, and cough. The idea was to promote prostate cancer awareness by offering two free tickets to a future game if you let a proctologist do a quick exam. Bobblefoot Day stirred up some complaints. The question was, how do I explain this to my kids? Here's what happened if you didn't explain it. It's going to um, the bathroom. It's going to the bathroom. The stall even included some graffiti. For a good time, call this number. Hey, I like a good time. But the good time number was just more self-promotion. Thank you for calling me St. Paul Saints Baseball Club. This team is famous for oddball giveaways, like a doggy chew toy dedicated to dog-fighting organizer Michael Vick. We always thought the Larry Craig talking doll would be the ultimate dumb toy from this scandal. You can even put him in his famous wide stance, which has been in the press so much. Bathroom stall not included? Now the bathroom stall is practically all that's included, plus that spring-loaded foot. And some fans who got them free are trying to sell them on eBay for around 200 bucks. Now that's mind-boggling. Ginny Mo, CNN, New York.